In this coding exercise, we have a little bit of a different type of problem to solve. And this is because I wanted to bring in the concept of graph notation and how to build graph algorithms. And this is usually something that is more on the advanced side, but I think that by drilling down a very specific kind of component we're looking for, we can actually build this algorithm in a relatively short period of time. So right here, I have a essentially a directed graph. And what we have are four nodes. So we have node one, two, three, and four. And in between these nodes, we have weights. Now these are not distances. And that's what I wanna be very clear and explicit on because what we're going to try to find is a distance. But one common thing that you'll discover when working with graph algorithms is that many times you're given the weights that are between each graph node, but you're not given things such as distance or some other measurement. You're actually going to be asked to find that. Now, the inspiration that I received this from was working out a mathematical equation in working with a mapping application that had more of a grid-based layout, and what I needed to find was the distance between each street. So it was a perfectly uh, even grid, and this is a little bit different than the map we have right now, but if you imagine between a number of the nodes, there were certain breakpoints. So in other words, from node one to two, there may have been three breakpoints or three streets in between it. So imagine driving and building a route generator. And if you go from node one to node two, you have to go three blocks. And then if you go from two to three, you have to go three blocks. And then if you go from node three to four, you have to go four blocks. Now, if the total distance that you drove is 16 miles, you have to figure out how far is the distance between each block. Not each node, but each block. So it's a little bit harder to imagine with this specific map. But if you just do imagine that we have a road such as right here, right here and right here, that would be three blocks. And if they were all the same, we just have to figure out how far they are in between. So this is not actually as hard as it may appear. And that's a reason why I drew out this map so we could see exactly what is being asked. And now we can switch over into the terminal and see what we need to do. So here we need to build a graph weight analyzer and you can see that it calculates the value of weight in a mapping app. So we have nodes and these nodes actually map exactly what we're looking for. We have node 1 right here that is weighted with 3. We have node 2 that's weighted with 3 and we have node 3 that is weighted with four. Notice we don't need node four right here because all we're trying to do is calculate these weights. So we're trying to calculate three, three, and then four, and then we just have the name or the number of the node that we're trying to figure out. So we have that. And then right here we have the total distance. In this case, it's 15, but this could be anything. It could be 150 if we wanted. We have to find out how far each one of the weights are. So as a quick review, what that means is if we did have city blocks here, we want to find out how far the city blocks are. And we just have to know that in this case, there are three city blocks between nodes one and two three city blocks between two and three, and then four city blocks between three and four. So with all of that in place, let's come up here and let's start building it out. So I'm gonna call a method called route generator. It's gonna take the route total, which for the example case is going to be 15, and then it's gonna take the nodes. Now inside of this, I'm going to take the route total I'm going to convert it to a decimal, and that's important whenever you're doing division, because if we have something that can't just be an integer by itself, then it's important that we have a float value. 
Then from there, I'm going to look at our nodes array and I'm gonna call the inject method on it. Now I'm gonna pass inject zero and then from there, I'm gonna pass it a block. Now with inject, remember the first block variable is going to be that increment or value. It's gonna start off with zero and then it's going to have an, we're going to be able to add to it with each successive interval. So we're going to have total followed by node. And the node, if you remember, is each one of these values. Now, technically, we don't really care about one, two, or three. We only care about the value. So we only care about three, three, and four. So with that in mind, we know that we just want to add the total plus node dot last, and then that is going to be our total value. So right here, this first section is our total, and all we need to do is divide it by each one of the elements. So technically, like I said, this is a really simple math equation. Essentially, all we need to do in this mapping application is we know the total distance. So now that we know that, now we just have to divide it by the total value of each one of these weights. So this, in this case, it's gonna be three plus three, which is six, plus four, which is 10. So we can see the expected value is 1.5. Now you may wonder that this does seem like a very basic kind of equation, and it is, but part of the reason why I wanted to walk through this one is because one, if you were just handed a map and told to find the weights, then you may not exactly know, and it may not be the most intuitive to figure out this type of implementation right away. But the other thing is how to think about algorithms as a whole and how to be able to break them down into pieces because you very well may be handed an algorithm task like this. And it's important to be able to break it into components like we're doing right here where we can find the distance between each weight. So now let's come down and I'm going to just run a very basic scenario. So if I run the route generator at 15, and then let's come here and grab our nodes so that we have something we can actually work with. So I'm gonna say nodes, and this should give us 1.5 running this. You can see that's perfect. That gives us 1.5. And if we run it for a much larger distance and run this, you can see it's now 15 miles. So this is working nicely. So I'm gonna come down here and if I delete these, let's run our test. So this is gonna be for March the 2nd running that, you can see we have one example, zero failures. So that's an introduction in how to work with graph algorithms in Ruby.